It was pretty obvious that the Buccaneers thought they weren't on good footing heading into the season, so they went out and got free agent punter Michael Kanan. Bucks paid big money to get him. And come Friday night against Kansas City, he's one player we'll be keeping an eye on. Andrew Luria has more from one buck. Say what you want about the Bucks' aversion to spending a lot of money. They have the highest paid player at his position in the history of the NFL. You just have to look a couple fields over to find him. It hasn't been hard for me to, to adjust to the guys, and, um, but, you know, we are off on our own field and, and doing our own thing most of the time, but, you know, it's just part of the job. Michael Kanan was the only big free agent that the Bucks went out and brought in. And at six years, $19.5 million. This is my fourth, fourth role right here, shag ball. He also might hold the biggest contract for a ball boy in league history, too. But that kind of money buys you more than just that. He's a punter who doesn't have a long average, but does have short returns. And he's a kickoff specialist who booms it. Add duties as a kick holder and a backup kicker, and he's like four players in one. He comes from the Falcons, where he spent his first six years in the league after coming undrafted out of Division II Western Washington. It was difficult the first couple of days for me. Um, it just felt awkward, you know, but uh, settled in once I got my helmet, shoulder pads, got the, saw my practice jersey, you know, it's, it's starting to fit in. The more I look at that big flag, um, the Buccaneer on it, uh, just feels more and more comfortable. Keenan says that there's no added expectations or pressure beyond what there'd otherwise be if he didn't have the contract that he does. Still, you can bet that he's out to give his new teammates something to dance about come Sundays. And it looks like he's already off to a good start there. At One Buck Place, Andrew Luria, ABC Action News.